Welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God with Salami Energy Harina, your host. We are glad to have you today. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E. A. Adebue, General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And this commentary intends to bring insights to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Tuesday, the fourth day of October 2022. And our topic for today is Exposing Demonic Operations Part 3. Let us pray. Our dear Father and our God, we are grateful for such an awesome day that you've let us see. We thank you for keeping and preserving us. We thank you for your provisions. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for all your wondrous works in our lives. We thank you for the gift of life that we have to serve you again. We ask that you would make our lives count. As we go into your word, we ask that you would open it up to us. Reveal to us your secrets. Teach us and deliver us from every form of demonic operations in our lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. You welcome back. Our memory verse for today is from the book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 14. Philippians 3 verse 14 reads, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3 verse 14. And our text for today is from the book of John chapter 5 from verse 1 to 11. John 5 verse 1 to 11 reads, After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem, by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, Bethesda, having five porches. In this lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity thirty and eight years. When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man, when the water is troubled, to put me into the pool. But while I am coming, another stepped down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked. And on the same day was the Sabbath. The Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, It is the Sabbath day, it is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered them, He that made me whole, the same said unto me, Take up thy bed and walk. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today one more time is Exposing Demonic Operations Part 3. And in the body of our devotional today, our Father and the Lord says to us, that one other way by which demons operate is what is called suppression. Suppression is when the fellow being tormented is already down and the enemy is making sure he doesn't rise. The man at the pool of Bethesda was beside it, hoping to get his healing. Every year, he saw people get healed, yet he remained on the same spot. There are people who have been on the same spot for several years spiritually, in their careers, financially and so on. That suppression is over now in Jesus' name. Many people take it lightly when they have been on the same spot for years. They don't realize that they are given an opportunity to demons to suppress them. The day the veil is removed from their eyes and they fight back, then they will move forward. You will move forward in Jesus' name. The man at the pool of Bethesda was in front of the Lord Jesus Christ who could heal him, yet he didn't ask for healing. I decree that the Lord will move you forward himself today. You will begin to soar high in Jesus' name. When I was studying for my Masters of Science at the University of Lagos, there was a man there who was an assistant lecturer. After completing my studies, I became a staff of the university, obtained my PhD and got promoted to a higher level than this man. That man's experience is a classical case of suppression. The solution to suppression is in God's anointing. Isaiah 10 verse 27 says 
that anointing will break the yoke that the devil puts on the person to limit his movement. The man at the pool of Bethesda stayed there because he wanted to contact the anointing that flowed there once a year. Thank God he met the anointed one himself and that day the yoke was broken. In Acts chapter 3 verse 2 to 11, on the day the man at the beautiful gate came in contact with the anointing, he began walking and leaping and praising God. Blind Bartimaeus had been in the same spot for many years too, but screamed at the top of his voice for Jesus to have mercy on him. He did not stop until the Lord had mercy on him and broke the yoke of the devil in his life. God bless his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more is Exposing Demonic Operations Part 3. So far, God has helped us. We have studied the part 1 and the part 2 of this same topic. When we studied the part 1 of this topic, we learned about the demonic operation of the enemy called oppression. And we learned that this is likened to a heavy load that the enemy places upon his victims. This kind of load is one that even the victim himself, although desiring to drop it and be free from it, cannot help himself. Oppression we learned the other day is usually carried out by an agent of the devil who is often someone close to the victim. Somebody who can keep observing to ensure that the victim is oppressed. When we studied the part 2 of this same topic, we learned about another oppression called depression. And many of us are already conversant with the meaning of this. A person who is depressed is weighed down by the enemy and has a different perspective to things, changed and influenced by the devil. Oftentimes, the enemy would whisper lies to such an individual's ear. Where there is depression, you can find frustration and the absence of joy. You can find a lack of fulfillment there. You can find the absence of the fulfillment of purpose. You can feel the sense of rejection. And all this, the enemy amplifies to make the victim believe that his or her case is beyond help. May that not be our portion in Jesus' name. Today we have the privilege to study the part 3 of our topic, which is Exposing Demonic Operations Part 3, and here we learn about the operation called suppression. One very key thing we learn about suppression from our study today is that the enemy is not only delighted in bringing his victims down, he is willing and excited to ensure that they remain on the floor. He wants to keep them at rock bottom. He wants to ensure that they never get beyond a certain ceiling. He wants to limit them. He wants to bring them down and ensure that they stay down. That is why you see various kinds of manipulations of the enemy and demonic attacks lasting for many years with the victims suffering under the yokes of these bondages. See for example the woman with the issue of blood. She was under that bondage for 12 years. The enemy was not only satisfied in destroying her finances and all that she had, he wanted to keep her there. The man at the pool of Bethesda too, he was there for 38 solid years. I can imagine how much of his life is left if you take that number of years out. But it pleased the enemy to keep him under that captivity for so long. The man at the gates called beautiful also like our father and the Lord tells us today. He remained there and even got comfortable with it because he was receiving alms. Some of these people under these conditions had these conditions from birth. They grew up with it, they became accustomed to it. You can imagine becoming used to the devil's wickedness and manipulation. Today in the name of Jesus, we call an end to every of such manipulations in Jesus' name. Yours may be a different case, maybe a case of perpetual reoccurrence of something negative. You are now used to it. Just like the man by the pool of Bethesda, he had found an excuse around it. He said, I had no man. Maybe you also have an excuse for yours. You see, that's how I am. That's how it has always been. Or you say it is well. But today there is liberation for every of such manipulations in the name of Jesus. If you are tired of remaining at a certain level, you open your mouth and pray now. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we break every yoke of limitation in our lives in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. Tell the Father, say in the name of Jesus, whatever kind of yoke that brings stagnation. Whatever yoke it is that makes a man remain at a level for too long, today we declare that it comes to an end in the name of Jesus. Pray and ask the Lord, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, financial limitation, career limitation, educational limitation, even spiritual limitation, today we declare their end. Pray also and say, Father, 
We call forth for speed and progress today in the name of Jesus. We receive the grace for speed, the grace for accelerated progress, the grace to recover all that has been lost through the years in the name of Jesus. As we come in contact with the Anointed One, our Lord Jesus today, we declare that every yoke of limitation, every yoke of suppression is broken today. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Our dear Father and our God, we thank you for such an awesome time in your presence. We thank you for a liberation that has come to your people today. We ask that whatever form of stagnation your people may have been suffering from in the past, today marks its end in Jesus' name. We declare freedom, we declare accelerated progress, and we recover all that was lost. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have an action point in our devotional today that tells us, cry to God for mercy and ask him to break the yoke of stagnation in your life. As we go forth today, let this be our continuous cry that he would intervene by mercy and break everything that limits and causes stagnation in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Zephaniah chapter 1 down to Haggai chapter 2. Hallelujah. We also thank you and appreciate you for joining us today. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you daily, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. As you go forth today, receive total liberation from all forms of oppression, depression, and suppression of the enemy in Jesus' name. Our hymn for today is the hymn 20 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing onward christian soldiers have an amazing and victorious day ahead see you tomorrow again by god's grace god bless you and bye for now
I believe you enjoyed today's devotional. We'd love to hear from you. Kindly leave a comment. You can connect with us on any of our social media handles attached. God bless you. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.